2012, Willem Grover was awarded the Jesse Menonier Artist of the Year Scholarship, sponsored by the American Indian Scholars and Artisans Conference, held at Mesa Community College, for his work in photography. Weldon Grover, and I am Hopi and Navajo. My mother is Ashihi, is which is Salt Clan. And my father, who is Hopi, is Batki Wangwu, which is Water Clan from Hodbala. Hot Villa down below. This is where I do most of my photography down here. I just get to walk around the areas and take pictures and find my, you know, just have things come to me and just keep taking pictures and, you know, find something interesting, find something, you know, something have something that find has a story to tell and just, you know, at the same time venture and free my mind. It's quiet, nice and open. Get to view the landscapes and then, you know, journey back in time. See all these like petroglyphs and whatnot that's here. I saw those pictures, you know, in, in books, you know, you know, at the same time it makes me want to take the same, not the same like sacred, taking sacred uh, pictures, you know, but in the same way taking the, the era, you know, what the times were in our era, you know, and how we practice our ceremonies, what we were taught, you know, what we practice, you know, like for farming, for instance, how we how he planted, you know, and how he, he respected, you know, everything, you know, the land, the earth, and also like incorporate, you know, different um, different practices as well. Yeah, but, you know, in the future, you know, it, it may change, you know, everything may be different, you know. Technologies that we have that are like so simple that we need to use. And then, you know, like in the future, you know, there may be like something even greater, you know. But even though, you never know, you know, it could be like even less, you know, people can drift away from those things, you know, you never know what the future has to tell, you know. Uh, it just happened uh, one morning, you know, I was just kicking back, you know, at the house, you know, just outside, you know, just on the summer, it's during like the, actually not summer, it's actually during spring break, you know, just kicking back and then, you know, I went to go check up on my, uh, my, well, uh, my grandpa. He was upstairs carving, so I went up there, you know, sat down. Because you know, when I like to, when he's there around carving, you know, I sit down with him, you know, sit down and watch how he carves, you know. Because eventually, you know, one day I like to carve, you know, pick up that pick up that style, you know, that art, and also, um, also, you know, learn those ways, you know, so I can pass it on to my either my nephews or my little younger cousins or brothers, and then even in. in past that, you know, pass it on to my kids, you know, if I get to learn that art, you know, but I sit down, you know, I sit down and talk with him, you know, he always tell me stories, you know, how it was a long time ago, what he was like in the, in the 60s, you know, because he went to Indian school down here in Phoenix, and um, he'd always talk about that. My grandfather told me of his experiences living in the city and how everything was based on money. And it is true, you have to have money to live in the city, to do certain things, to go everywhere, you know? To go get gas for your ride, just to go back home, to go out, to go eat, you know? Nothing is, nothing is the same down here. That is why my photography is so important to me. Leaving from Hutville and coming to the city is a big transition. The transition is like, as you're leaving, you know, you're leaving behind something that's just like been untouched, been been just like peaceful and quiet and it's just natural you know nature itself just sitting there the drive back is pretty cool because as you're going back um, you see all these um, places you saw like uh, that took place like when I go through when I'm coming when I'm going from my house through like the other villages we see all these like ruins as there for example if you're going through a uh, arrival you see this um, old, old, old Spanish church that they try to build, but the Hopis tore it down. When I get to Phoenix, I like to go down to the art district and see all the pictures on the side of the walls, the graffitis. And I get my camera and I load it up with a few films, 
and walk down the area and take pictures because they're not going to be there anymore because they change them every month. And I hop on the light rail and go down to the next street and take pictures, you know, with my friends, some people I know, and get to uh, int be introduced to a new artist, you know, get to understand what they're what they're about and what their message is behind the these pictures. You know, it's a pretty cool way to meet artists and also get to know the people in the urban area, which is really nice. The way of uh, artists helping artists and being there for one another, you know, we're all in this together. The photography keeps me going here in the city until I can reach home to Hotbella and tell my story through my pictures.